I'm Dr. Joe Esposito, and welcome to our podcast for the health of it. Remember to subscribe to our podcasts, and I'll help you naturally get well and stay well. The information presented on this program is not intended to take the place of your personal physician's advice, and it is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Discuss this information with your own physician or healthcare provider to determine what is right for you. Are you suffering needlessly? Dr. Joe can give you advice on how to naturally get well and stay well. Dr. Joe Esposito. Last time we spoke, we talked about what happens if you give up meat. And a lot of things happen to your body in a positive manner. So I want to talk about now what happens if you give up the meat. There's nothing else to eat. So there's different versions of of eating right. There's vegan, a vegan or plant-based diet. What you do, you give up all animal products, uh, including meat, dairy, eggs, Vegan diet, very nutritious, reduce the risk of chronic diseases, helps in weight loss. If there was a better way to eat, I would eat that way. And I've researched every diet, and I've been doing this now for about 40 years. Uh, there is not a day that goes by that I'm not doing research. And I'm finding over and over and over again that, boy, did I ever make the right decision. Sometimes you do things, you go, ah, that wasn't the right decision. No, this is the right decision for everybody. I don't know anyone who wouldn't benefit from eating more plants. A lot more people are moving toward a plant-based diet. In 2018, there was a poll taken. 3% of the United States are fully vegan. And plant-based food sales are skyrocketing. Almost every restaurant now has a plant-based option, a vegan option. And, and vegan and plant-based is kind of kind of sometimes interchanged. Uh, but I'll go into what they are. But either way, just don't eat animal products. Uh, more people are eating plants only to, and get certain nutrients. The only supplement you have to worry about if you're eating a plant-based diet is vitamin B12. Um, I take Dr. Joe's Essential Source every day, which has vitamin B12 in it. Uh, I also take a B-complex just to make sure I'm getting plenty of B vitamins. Um, again, the minimum supplements you should be taking are Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. They're two powders. I mix them together. Uh, I had mine with almond milk this morning, shook it up and drank it. It's just I can't leave the house without it. I wake up and start my day. I grab a Super Greens and Essential Source, shake it up and drink it, and that really just gets you going. So many people have given up their coffee and their teas and their cigarettes and their chocolates because when you eat the right foods, you get natural energy. And then I also take something called nitric oxide, which increases circulation to the body. Now, if you need an extra boost with nitric oxide, I'll take two in the morning, and then I'll maybe take one in the afternoon. Okay, instead of a coffee break, I'll take a nitric oxide, and it's amazing. It helps everything. It helps your love life. It helps your brain work better. It helps you have more energy. It helps you sleep better at night. Don't take them at night. I'll keep you awake. But if you have energy during the day, you sleep better at night. So I don't see any downside to taking care of yourself. It's really pretty simple and easy, folks. Uh, but again, the only thing you have to worry about, and omega-3 fatty acids, um, that's another supplement I take as a vegan too, because sometimes you can get omega-3s from animal products, but they're essential to humans. Essential means you have to get them from an outside source. So I take uh, the only ones you have to really worry about, B-complex and omega-3s. Everybody should take vitamin D. No matter what kind of diet you have, you're not going to get vitamin D enough to sustain yourself unless you're out in the sun 20 minutes a day in the spring, summer, and fall. In the winter, there's nothing you can do to get enough vitamin D except take a supplement. So I take that every day. I take five drops. Now, if you start feeling under the weather, um, and the other day I did, First time in years, I actually felt like a little scratchy throat coming on. I took five. I took five, uh, five thousand international units, uh, which was uh, fifty drops, and um, I took so fifty thousand. I'm sorry, uh, which is fifty drops. And uh, next morning, I woke up. I totally forgot about it. So it really helps the immune system tremendously. So what happens when you start eating a better diet? So you're going to eat mostly fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Uh, some vegans give up honey as well because it is an animal product. Uh, some vegans, of course, give up uh, leather products and they don't associate themselves at all, as little as possible with animals. Now, it's almost impossible to not come into contact with some animal products somewhere because even your car, they use animal products in some of the production of plastics and things like that. So if you choose to live a vegan lifestyle, um, it's, it's a lot more than just food, I hope. It doesn't have to be, of course. I love when people say, you have to do this if you call yourself a vegan. I don't have to do anything. I can call myself whatever I want. In fact, in today's day and age, you can call yourself whatever you want. You can identify. You can identify as a vegan and eat meat now, I guess. I don't know. I guess that's acceptable. Um, but fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, beans. Uh, if you don't know what to eat on our website, drjoe.com, you can just type in the words, so what can I eat? And I was in a studio one day, 
and I recorded a whole hour of breakfast, lunches, dinner, snacks, uh, stocking your pantry, how to go shopping. Um, laid it all out for you there. So that's a, and it's free, by the way. The website is over 1,500 hours of podcasts, absolutely free. So uh, become a, a podcast junkie. Now, if you have a podcast service that you'd rather use, just type in Dr. Joe for the health of it. Dr. Joe for the health of it. And that's going to send out, that, then you get into your podcast service and you'll have our podcast there as well. Uh, this show that we're doing right now is part of the podcast uh, service uh, that, that goes out to the services. On our website, we also do a Sunday night show and uh, we air that as well as a podcast. So you're getting podcasts every which way you can. So vegetarian versus vegan. Uh, vegetarian uh, depends what you want to call yourself. In my first book, Eating Right for the Health of It, I kind of broke it down. It's really semantics. Lacto-ovo means you eat eggs and dairy, but you're still a vegetarian. You don't eat meat. And then there's uh, pesco-vegetarian, which means you eat fish. And I prefer you don't eat animal, any animal product. That's really the ultimate goal. So some of the benefits is if, if you're eating a good diet, you're going to get all the nutrients that you need. You're going to eliminate the possible, possible risks for a lot of diseases, heart disease, diabetes, cancer, obesity. Um, so there's so many benefits to eating more plant-based. Now, you don't have to do it all at once. I used to have a, uh, a guy named Wes. He was an IT guy. And he said, I heard you on a show the other day, and you said something very profound. He says, you should say it in every show. You don't have to do everything all at once. I wish you would. It's the best way to do it. But you can do a little bit at a time. And I always tell at least start with super greens and essential source. They're two supplements. At least start with that and see what happens. And you're going to say, okay, now I see a difference. I take nitric oxide. Boy, that helps. Then I'm going to do this. And you start building and building and building to the point where you say, okay, I can't imagine any other lifestyle except being healthy. And again, the biggest complaint I get, say it with me, why didn't I do this sooner? Why did I wait so long? And I don't know that answer. I wish you wouldn't wait. I wish you would start making changes now. Uh, people come to chiropractic and pain management and regenerative medicine. Why did I wait so long? Sometimes they'll come in and we want to do like a PRP shot, which is your own, st- your own uh, active cells. We take it out of your pl- uh, platelets and re-inject them back into the area to stimulate new growth. And the earlier we can get to an arthritic joint, the, f- the better off you're going to be. We can also go to stem cells, exosomes. There's different levels we can go to. I like the PRP because it's your own stem cells. It's your own cells. So people say, why didn't I do this sooner? Why did I wait so long? Chiropractic, number one treatment for back pain, most effective, least expensive. Why did I wait so long? I don't know, folks. I just wish you would get on the bandwagon and say, okay, today's the day I'm going to start taking care of myself. It's not going to get better. It's only going to get worse every day that goes by. So stop doing it. Come in, see us. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Uh, You can book an appointment right online, drjoe.com. Uh, we accept most insurances, car accidents, sports injuries. If you've ever been in a car accident, you need to come see us immediately. Number one, the insurance company's going to say, you didn't go to the doctor, you weren't hurt. No, you didn't have a car to get there either, but that, they don't care about that. Number two, you want to make sure you're getting quality care. There's a lot of scam clinics and scam lawyers out there, and I don't want you falling prey to them. In fact, somebody I work with at the studio, she got in a car accident, and she went with one of the lawyers that uh, advertises. And she said, they won't let me go to you anymore. Well, first of all, you can't dictate who somebody goes to. This isn't communist Russia. And they made me go to their doctor. And she said, they're not even doing a fraction of the work you were doing on me. And I said, why don't you come back to me? She goes, oh, I don't want to risk changing the, you know, the, the lawsuit. They said if you change lawyers that can risk the lawsuit, you can change lawyers. You can change doctors. You can change jobs. So don't fall into that, that scam. Anyway, so if you do want to see us, especially and anything, but car accidents right away, you can book it right online, drjoe.com. Uh, it's phone numbers there. You can call us too. The initial visit is normally three seventy five. We've reduced that to one ninety nine. That's exam, X-rays, consultation, first adjustment, going over the X-rays on your next visit, and a complete nutrition evaluation. And then after that, we're going to, if we get to that point, we're going to need more treatment. We accept insurance for that. We have payment plans available. Uh, the medical services, all our services are on the website, drjoe.com. Just go to website, type, uh, look at the top where it says services. You'll see everything we offer. Uh, call us, make an appointment online, get moving on your health. I promise you, if you do nothing, it'll get worse. That's just how, to health, how health goes. So, so many benefits of eating a good diet. It's better for your heart. Uh, one study found uh, uh, has linked higher intake of plant-based foods and lower intake of animal proteins to reduce risk of heart disease and death. Once again, hospitals are filled up with people that have self-induced their diseases. Not everyone, 
but many, many, major majority of people have self-induced their own diseases. Obesity, high blood pressure, diabetes. Uh, studies have shown time and time again, uh, plant-based diet works wonders on diabetics, does wonders for weight loss, does wonders for heart disease. Uh, there's so much research out there. Dr. Sinatra's done research already uh, on plant-based diets and reversing heart disease. Does it work? Works very well. Okay, Dr. McDougall has done the research on heart disease. So uh, just look up plant-based diet heart disease, and you'll, you'll probably never have time to read all the research out there proving beyond a doubt that a plant-based diet, it can, in many cases, can, revert, can, limit, can reduce or eliminate uh, a lot of these chronic diseases. I, I, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, I don't know how else to make it any simpler. So plant-based diet, great animal proteins, including meat, fish, and butter, uh, and cheese, main dietary source of saturated fats. According to American Heart Association, eating foods that contain these fats uh, raise cholesterol levels, and high levels of cholesterol increases risk of heart disease and stroke. American Heart Association is telling you what to do about it. The American Cancer Society is telling you what to do about it. Uh, all the obesity society is telling you what to do about it. Are you listening? I hope so. Because you're going to save so much money, probably live so much longer, and have so much more pleasure in your life that you'll say, I don't know why I, this is even a question. I don't see a downside. I cannot find a downside. If there was a downside, uh, let me know. Let me know what your downside is, and I'll give you an answer for it. People that go on a vegan diet, of course, usually take in lower calories because they're eating more food, less calories, and a lot less fat. Uh, 2017, eating a vegan diet may reduce a person's risk of cancer by 15%. I think it's higher than that. Health benefits may include the fact that plant-based diets are high in fiber, vitamins, and nutrients, and that can help protect against cancer. International Agency on Research on Cancer reported that red meat is a probable carcinogen, noting that research was linked to primary colorectal cancer and prostate cancer and pancreatic cancer. I have a lot of men come to me as they get into their third and fourth quarter of life, and they say, Dr. Joe, I'm just not who I used to be in the bedroom. Uh, my prostate is a problem. I have to wake up and pee a lot. I pee and it doesn't come out very well. Animal products just wreak havoc on the prostate and on the reproductive organs. So I don't know why you wouldn't be doing all the right things. Uh, we talked about weight loss a little bit too, eating a plant-based diet. Uh, vegan diets are more effective for weight loss uh, than omnivorous, which is you know kind of a combination of meat and, and, um, and plants. Now, most people do that. Most people don't eat just meat, of course. Uh, a lot of processed foods can be found in the plant-based world or the vegetarian world. You can do cookies and cakes and donuts and hamburgers. Uh, a lot of the fast food chains now are carrying hamburgers. And uh, one of them uh, I'm not a fan of because it's made with soy. And I don't have a problem with soy. I have a problem with processed soy. When you process it, it releases something called glutamic acid. And glutamic acid is an excitotoxin to the brain. It actually causes the brain to fire faster than it's supposed to and can burn out your brain cells. Uh, processed soy or textured soy protein, really hard to digest. Many times people have gas and bloating, stomach cramps. So I'm not a, for, a fan of the processed foods made with uh, processed soy. Now, I'm okay with tofu organic. I'm okay with tempeh, uh, which is a fermented tofu. Uh, those are fine, but the processed, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm just not a fan of because they're so hard to digest and they're just not good for you. And again, if you're going to eat, you might as well eat good food. Uh, low risk of diabetes, uh, unbelievable, lowering the risk of diabetes. I do not know why the American Diabetic Association is not screaming from the rooftops, eat a plant-based diet, it will reduce your risk of diabetes. Because the research is clear. This is fact, science-based information that clearly shows that if you do this, this most likely is going to be the outcome. It's not me saying it. It's people have done double-blind studies, and it's, it's well-known. But nobody talks about it. That's why this show is so popular, because we talk about things that nobody else wants to talk about. And we talk about health services that you don't even know exist. How many people don't know what PRP is? Most people don't. Yet on our website, drjoe.com, we talk about it. We do it here in our offices. I believe this is the trend in healthcare. And so far in 40 years of making predictions, I've never been wrong. Okay? So when it comes to healthcare predictions, I'm pretty good at this. The next trend in healthcare is happening now already, regenerative medicine. And it has to do not only with stem cells and PRP and uh, exosomes and injecting into the cells. It has to do with your diet. It has to do with structure. If bones are out of alignment, they rub up against each other and they wear out. How often? 100% of the time. If you have arthritis, osteoarthritis anywhere in your body, no one ever told you this, but the reason you have it is because the bones are out of place rubbing up against each other. 
and that causes an inflammatory reaction. White blood cells are sent in. It eats away at the cartilage. <sighs> I don't know how to make this easier, folks. If I had a way to make it easier, I would tell you. But if a bone is out of alignment, put it back in place. If a bone, nerve is being pinched, unpinch it. If the bacteria in your colon is changing for the worse, change it back to the best. If you have to eat anyway, eat good foods. It's not real rocket scientist, science when it comes to all this stuff. And it's so much cheaper than everything else. So we know that it can lower your risk of, of, of diabetes. Uh, so fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, of course, can be big. Legumes, uh, split peas. I love split pea soup. And I've got a pressure cooker and I've got a, uh, uh, a slow cooker. And I'll throw in split peas. I like the yellow ones actually better than the green. Split peas, carrots, onions, celery, and vegetable broth. Turn it on, cook it. Unbelievable how good it is. No fat, or very low fat. Maybe there's some fat in the, in the lentils. I don't know. Or split peas. Um, no fat involved, loaded with fiber, loaded with nutrients. You could add nutritional yeast to it on top of it to give you more B vitamins and other amino acids. And it's so inexpensive. It's ridiculous. I can make a pot of soup, huge pot, like a crock pot full of soup for less than $5. Turn it on at night, wake up in the morning, it's done. I stir it up. As I get ready to shower, I let it cool down. I put it in jars and I either refrigerate or freeze it. Done. And you're eating for a couple of days right there. And it, cost, it takes about 12 minutes to prepare. I've timed it. That one I've timed. I've timed that already. So I don't know why you're not doing these things. And you can eat them cold too. I love cold soups. I don't have no problem with that. It's like cold pizza back in college, right? After a drinking binge or finals, you'd go out and have some cold pizza. Still taste it. Uh, anyway, nutrients, again, we talked about. B12 is going to be important. Uh, it comes from animal products, plant-based sources. Uh, Dr. Joe's Essential Source has... Uh, it's a complete multivitamin, including B12. I also take an additional B12 as well because as you get older, you don't absorb nutrients like you used to. And that's something that's important. It's not just what you ingest, it's what you digest. So got to make sure getting that in there. Uh, vitamin D, we talk about that all the time. 5,000 international units a day. That's five drops of Dr. Joe's vitamin D. It's the least expensive insurance policy you'll ever buy. And studies have shown with everything from colds and flu to covid that people with higher, with normal vitamin D levels, I like it between 60 and 80 nanograms per milliliter in my blood, reduce the risk of getting sick dramatically, exponentially. Why this isn't being handed out? I mean, it, we're handing out everything else, it seems. Why don't we just hand out vitamin D? I think that would save a lot of problems. Omega-3 fatty acids, uh, you can get them from plants, but uh, the best source is going to be algae. Uh, we have a Dr. Joe's Algae Omega-3 on the website, drjoe.com. Great for inflammation, brain function. Again, it's an essential amino acid, which means you have to get it from an outside source. Uh, zinc is important for the immune system. Beans, nutritional yeast, nuts, oats, loaded with zinc. Zinc can bind to viruses and prevent them from replicating. Wait, we have research that has something we can bind to viruses and prevent them from replicating? Yes, zinc. Uh, and then iodine is really important too. Most people in this country are iodine deficient because we take in no iodine except... Salt. There is iodized salt, uh, but you shouldn't be eating salt anyway. So when you take in super greens and essential source, it's a great source of iodine because we get our iodine from sea vegetables. And sea vegetables are the best source of iodine. See how easy? I've done the work for you folks. I don't know how to make it easier. Unless I came to your house and force fed you the supplements, which I don't want to do. Um, and with chiropractic care, you got to come see us for that too. But neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, headaches, numbness, tingling, radiating pain, popping shoulder, knee issues, foot issues, uh, plantar fasciitis, we had somebody in yesterday and we discussed the plantar fasciitis with her and she said, that makes sense. I twisted my ankle and right around there is when the plantar fasciitis came up. I said, what have we done? Steroid shots. Steroid shots cannot put a bone back in place. I am not against steroid shots. If you need steroid shots, folks, take them. Okay, even with the exosomes, I had them in my neck. Um, they gave me antibiotics just to make sure there wouldn't be an infection because I had to go through my neck to put the exosomes in. Okay, so I got to rebuild my colon. I'll take some probiotics, double, triple my dose, get on super greens and essential source, a lot of fiber, nutrients to help to feed the bacteria called prebiotics. My body's back to normal. It's not that big a deal. But if I take it and I don't do the things to rebuild my body, that's when I start to worry about it. So plant-based foods really are changing the way we eat. And it's, it's becoming so popular. Even Gordon Ramsay went vegan for a, for a meal. He was laughing. He said, I'm going vegan for lunch. But the vegan foods that are out there now are just crazy. When I started with this, it was basically beans, rice, and salad. But now there's everything. And eggplants are great. And uh, curry sayor is a Malaysian food that I just love. And easy to, you can buy canned uh, curries. 
that has all the seasoning in it, no toxic chemicals or MSG, and mix it with vegetable broth. And you've got this amazing uh, curry sayor soup. So there's so many delicious foods out there. Ethiopian food we talked about, Malaysian. A lot of uh, ethnic foods have plant-based versions because meat's expensive. Some of the Eastern European countries, not so much. They don't have a lot of agriculture for plants. But uh, Asian food, Ethiopian food, Korean food, um, even Italian food. You know, I grew up Italian. We didn't eat a lot of meat. You had vegetables and potatoes uh, and broccoli rabe, which is rapini and salad. And then you had a little bit of meat and maybe a little bit of pasta. In us, our country, we eat nothing but pe- pasta and meat. And we forget about all the other stuff. So, uh, so many different choices. Tofu and tempeh, mushrooms, potatoes, jackfruit. I've had jackfruit. It's okay. Not my favorite. Uh, eggplants, lentils, uh, beans and legumes, cauliflower, nuts and seeds, nut butters. I saw chickpea butter the other day. Didn't try it. It was too expensive. But chickpea butter instead of peanut butter made with chickpeas. I thought that's kind of interesting. I've had sesame seed butter. Uh, it's called tahini. Uh, but they also have sesame butters like a spread too, like a peanut butter. Uh, spectacular. Unbelievable. And when you start getting into these things, you go, wow, I love these. Almond butter is great. Cashew butter is great. So it's so easy to eat well uh, if you just have the, the, the means to do it and the will to do it. And if you don't know what to eat, go to our website, drjoe.com. Type in, I'm going to start you with this. If you're a starter, if you're just new to this, type in the words, eating right for the health of it. And you, my books will come up. If you type in the seven deadly sins of nutrition, we did an hour lecture, maybe, maybe two hours out in California, big crowd, a lot of famous speakers. I was the keynote speaker, which was great. And we talked about the seven deadly sins of nutrition. I was a little younger then. I look a little younger. After you listen to the seven deadly sins of nutrition, I want you to go to another tab called, so what can I eat? Type that in. And we talk about breakfast, lunches, dinner, snacks, how to do this. My challenge is this. I want you to do what I tell you for two weeks. If I'm wrong, I lie to you. Ladies, I'm not the first man to lie to you. But if I'm right, which I am, you'll say, okay, now I get what he's going crazy about. I understand why this trend is coming, why so many restaurants are bringing in plant-based choices, why so many grocery stores have plant-based choices, why so many frozen food sections now have plant-based meals put together. Not always a fan of them, a lot of sodium in there. But you'll, be a, you'll understand why the trend is going this way. There's no downside to eating well, except you'll save money, feel better, probably live longer, lose some weight, improve your love life. No downside to eating well. If you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, headaches, folks, chiropractic care, most effective, least expensive treatment for these conditions, just go to our website, book an appointment now. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Just book your appointment. Come see us. First visit is normally $375. We've reduced that to $199. Exam, x-rays, consultation, first adjustment, going over the x-rays. There isn't a downside to getting your body well naturally. If you need drugs and surgery, I'll, I'll, I'll refer you out. But in most cases, you don't. And then you got to have a good diet. The minimum supplements would be we what? Super greens and essential source. I throw in B-complex as well, adrenal support, digestive enzymes if I eat cooked foods. So if you have any questions, you can send them to me through the website, drjoe.com. But better yet, just make an appointment. Inevitably, you're going to end up with us anyway. We have offices in Marriott, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. We accept most insurances. If you've ever been in a car accident, if the car was damaged, you were damaged, you need to see us immediately. drjoe.com. I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. Tell your friends about the show. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for listening to For the Health Fit. Remember to subscribe to this podcast, and I'll help you naturally get well and stay well. You can also listen to and call into my radio show live Sunday evenings from 7 to 9 Eastern Time on WSBRadio.com and on the WSB Radio app.